Hello, it's Friday and I've finished the Cheap Dog Cheap Camera Challenge. If you don't know what that is, it's a challenge I set for myself to go out with a 35mm camera, a 24 exposure film and take 20 pictures. 20 pictures which were set with themes and specific things I had to get. If you want to know more about that, you can join in and I'll put a link in the doobly-doo to the Flickr group that we have for the Vlog Blunders. I was quite happy with my pictures, they all came out quite well. Apart from this one here, which to be honest I rushed, I could have chosen a much nicer angle and a much better day for taking a picture of the lift tower, but we won't worry about that. One out of 20 isn't bad. I actually took 25 shots. Two of them I kind of wasted at the beginning because I thought I'd damaged the beginning of the film. So technically I only took 23 shots. My approach to this was to sit down and decide in advance what pictures I was going to take where. Fortunately, I had quite an interesting month. We had half term, so I took my children out to quite a few interesting places and took some interesting photos while we were out and about. Essentially, I just took this camera everywhere I went for about a month. If you want to see the pictures I took, you'll find them on Flickr, there's a link in the doobly-doo. I'm just gonna show you some of my favorites. The first one is this one from the top of a tree. I tried to climb a tree and fell out of the tree, uh, which wasn't much fun, so I decided it would be safer for everyone <laughs> if I found a tree that had blown down. We, we'd got a few in the park that had. I found this one and I'm quite pleased with the way the light is coming through and I don't think I'd have got quite that effect if I'd actually got up the tree so in some ways that was better. <laughs> now my picture of something derelict was of this bridge. In the process of trying to find that bridge we ended up underneath the A45 for this picture. This doesn't look very interesting but I quite liked it. You've got the A45, one of the main roads in Northampton, going overhead to one side, the track bed for the old Northampton to Bedford railway line, and to the other side, you've got the River Nen. So that's all major transport links. And in the background, you can see some typical, awful Northamptonian concrete architecture. <laughs> this is a good example of something that I just planned to do when the opportunity seemed right. Crumpled banknotes in themselves didn't seem like an amazing thing to take a picture of, so I thought maybe what was in the background was more important. And in this picture, I've put the crumpled banknotes on the dashboard and in the background, there's a Renault with a monkey on the back. This one I also planned in advance. I was looking for an animal enclosure with a glass front in order to use the glass for the reflection because the theme was reflections, but I thought it'd be funny if I could somehow capture a monkey behind. In this case, I managed to find a marmoset, and I'm quite pleased, because that's exactly the picture I was looking for. Now, when it came to taking a picture of the oldest structure in Northampton, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, however you say that, was probably the most obvious choice, unless I considered Hunsbury Hill. It's more of an embankment than a structure, but it is man-made, and it's at least 2,000 years old probably a lot older. I decided that was a much better choice. If you don't consider that a structure, well, that's your problem. And I quite like the picture as well, by the way. That's iron stone there. When it came to miniature, I think the most obvious thing anyone would have expected me to do would be to take pictures of my model railway stuff. Well, a picture. My camera really does not have a macro capability of any description. Anything close up would look terrible. So I decided instead to do a Father Ted small cows far away cows picture of uh, a mini that I found in my son's toy box with another mini behind it. It took me a while to find a mini in an appropriate situation. But like I said, because I was carrying my camera everywhere with me, when that opportunity arose, I was able to take it. So I hope you found that interesting. Maybe seeing my shots will inspire you to have a go at doing some of your own. Anyone can do this. With a little bit of thought, you can have a lot of fun. Please do check out what's going on in the Vlog Blunders Flickr group. If you'd like to join it, that would be great. We'd love to have you. And Mike, I'll see you on Tuesday.